Hey guys, it's Kaylee here at Sherwood Park Hyundai, and today we're going to be taking a walk around this 2015 Hyundai Santa Fe Sport. This four-door all-wheel drive SUV is shown in a platinum graphite metallic, and underneath that hood you do have a 2.0 liter four-cylinder engine. On the front of the vehicle here, you do have those daytime running lights with the projection style bulbs, as well as those fog lights there along the bottom. The vehicle is still in great condition. Coming on down here, you do have, or you do have, you will be riding on top of 19 inch Continental winter tires. Now you do have the four wheel disc, whoa, let's get that in focus. You do have the four wheel disc brakes as well as the rock guard and mud flap underneath here helping keep everything nice and tidy. You do have that rock guard all the way along the vehicle as well, which is nice helping from any rock chips down here. And then coming on up here, you do have that breakaway rear view mirror with the side indicator. And the, I don't know if you can see that, it's a little hard to see. Um, you do actually have the blind spot monitoring. I'll show you when we get on inside. But now that we've checked out all the great features on the outside, how about we go check out the features on the inside. Helping you into your Santa Fe is this awesome keyless entry key. Now it is a proximity key. I'm just going to show you here. I'm going to put this in my pocket. Ladies, you can put it in your purse, you know, gym bag, anything like that. The door is locked, so if you don't want to fumble out in the cold, press that button. Unlocks. Press it. Locks it. So, coming on in here, you do have some power options here along the side door, including windows, locks, and mirrors. And then you do have some storage down here as well as your gas cap release button. I did not know this. I got stuck at a gas station. Push that and good to go. <laughs> so you do have very comfy leather seating for five in the whole entire vehicle. As well as you do have some more power options along the bottom of the seat here, including that back lumbar support. So bear with me while we get in and start up. Sorry guys, I'm just trying to get situated here. Okay, what's really great about that proximity key is I'm just gonna put my foot on the brake here and we do have that push start button. Along with that, you do have your ABS brakes, traction control and tire pressure monitoring, as well as only 51, uh, woo, 51,760 kilometers. That was tough for me to say. <laughs> It is six degrees outside. Keep in mind, it does not feel like six degrees, but I'll take it. So coming out here on the left hand side of your steering wheel, you do have your volume. Oh, why won't you focus? There we go. You do have your volume control as well as your mute button. Then the mode to take you through AM, FM or your XM radio. And then you do have that. Oh, let me unmute this. The voice command and your Bluetooth audio. So let's try out the voice command. After the beat. Cancel. Cancel. Thank you. And then here on the right hand side of your steering wheel, you do have your cruise control. What this is here is if you can see up here, see where it says normal sport or comfort, that is just gonna feel or change the feel of the steering wheel while you're driving. And then coming back down here, just below these uh, controls here, you do actually have these controls down here. I'm just gonna bring you back up to the center there and show you what these buttons do. So using this button here, we do have the trip option there. I am just gonna go down. You have your range till empty, another trip, another trip, and that's all that it got in there. And then you've got the preview of what you're listening to at the moment, your compass, when you should have your vehicle serviced, and then you do have some user settings in there. But I do want to show you your stereo system because it does have the XM radio equipped already. I love that. That's just one less thing you guys got to do. I'll show you anything I want to listen to. It is there. I don't have that preview. I love it. And then just below your uh, stereo system here, I don't know if you can see where it says SD map. No, all you gotta do is get an SD card, pop that in there, and you are ready for your navigation. 
just below all this, you do have your dual climate control, which is really nice. Nobody can agree on a climate. And then just below that, you do have a little cubby with your two 12 volt outputs as well as your auxiliary and USB outputs. And then coming on in here, da 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 da, my favorite thing, heated seats. This is like a two birds with one stone type of deal because you do have that air conditioned seats and then those heated seats. So that's just really nice. Then coming on back here, you do have your two cup holders here, a little cubby hole in here, which is nice for holding change or whatever. But then you do have some out of sight, out of mind hiding. It is two different levels, so maybe you want to throw your wallet, smaller things, lighters, cigarette packs up in here. And then you do have that nice deep center console for those bigger items. So you give this a shot. I want to show you your center console here. So in your center console, it is lockable. This is really nice. Maybe you're on White Ave. You have some valuables. You don't want to take them in. You can put them in there. I'll show you. You can put them in there, shut it, lock it. Don't have to worry about if your car gets broken into. But what's really nice is this is actually a very deep and wide glove box. So you can put tons of stuff in there. Close that on up. Coming on up here. You do have the, oh, let's get that in focus. You do have your compass up here, which is really nice, as well as, um, oh, so that would be to open your garage door, but I don't have a garage door set up to it here, unfortunately. I wish I'd be able to show you that. So guys, now that we've checked out the inside of the Hyundai Santa Fe, how about we go check out the back and the cargo space? Coming into the back of your Hyundai Santa Fe here, you do have some more storage options there along the side door, but my favorite thing here is they do have the heated seats in the back, which is awesome because now you're not fighting your friend for the front seat to get that heated seat, unless you want to call shotgun. So, <laughs> moving on in here, you do have some more storage options on the back of both of your seats here, but what I like is it is a hard plastic cover, so if you have any dirty little feet or dog paws up against this, it is nice and easy to wipe down. And then, coming on down in the middle here, you do have another 12 volt output, so if your kid in the back needs to charge their iPad, you know, maybe they're watching movies, playing Angry Birds, anything like that, they don't interfere with your plugins in the front. So, I did pop this down before I started the video because I wanted to show you guys that it is a 60-20-20 or 60-40 split seat, but I'm going to pop this middle spot up so I can show you the 60-40 split. But what's also nice is, before I forget, <laughs> is, oh, this is tough. This is my bad. So, you do have this armrest back here with the two cup holders and it is still a little wet because I did just have this detailed for you guys. Our detail department is awesome. Give that a shut, close that up. Now I'm going to show you how to activate that 60-40 split. So we are going to drop it low. This little switch right here, you're going to pull. Those seats are going to come flying down and you can access that cargo space. So. Coming into the back here, I did have it opened already for you because I just, I thought this was so cool. This here, I've been here for over a year and I only found out what this was today. This actually Velcros on to the bottom here, if you can see that, Velcros on, you flip it down. When you're loading things into your back, it does protect your paint down here from getting scratched. How neat is that? So we're going to throw that back in here because underneath that you do have some storage options down along here. Let me brighten that up for you. You do have some storage options. What's nice about this is you can pull this up and secure something down there. And you do have that tire jack and iron. And then behind that you do... Oh, doesn't want to lift for me. There we... Whoa, okay, come on being difficult you do have some more organized storage down here which is really nice it is deep and wide you can put your booster pack in there anything like that close it up and then you have all this space on the top up here as well as you do have another 12 volt output in the back in case maybe you're camping you need to pump up that air mattress you can just sit on your tailgate with your awesome Hyundai mat <laughs> and watch it pump up so, I am going to close this. 
Oh, I hit the button too soon. But you do have a button right there that will close that hatch for you. And since I forgot to show you while we were in the front, this awesome little vehicle does actually have a backup camera and a rear wiper blade. Well guys, this is the 2015 Hyundai Santa Fe. I want to thank you guys for watching my video. We are located at 41 Auto Mall Road and we are just a click or call away for a test drive.